Hey what's up everyone, in this new short series we are going to make this game that is called Rolly Vortex and it's a popular one. By the end of this series you will be able to create this game from scratch using Unity 2021 LTS version or any version that you want because there is no big differences. As you can see we need to avoid these obstacles and I can rotate the ball or the player by dragging or using the mouse we have gems to pick them up and if we collide with one of these obstacles we have this game over screen with all of the information that you need like the high score and we have a new record 61 also we can replay the game and we are going to add this shop we can change the ball like this one Also, we can unlock new characters. We have this button. We're gonna add the logic to check if we have enough gems so that we can unlock a new character. And yeah. Also, we have the option to change the vortex. We can select different themes like purple, yellow, and we can unlock new ones. Finally, we'll add an option to mute these sounds. So before we get started, consider subscribing to our channel. That helps me a lot. And let's jump right into it. So first of all, we're going to create a new project using unity hub and if you don't know how to install unity or unity hub i've created a separate video about that and i'm gonna add the link under the video description for me i've already downloaded this version 2021 lts version we can create a new project under projects then new you have the option to select it your unity version then we can select it 3d game or 2d game Probably you guess it, Rolly Vortex is a 3D game. I'm gonna select the 3D template. We can give this project a name, like Rolly Vortex Clone. Then I'm gonna change the location. Let's put it under my desktop. Then let's hit create. And I'm using Pop OS. So if you are using another operating system like Windows or Mac OS, don't worry. We are using the same software, which is Unity. You will have the same interface of Unity Hub. And I've created a video about installing this operating system that is called Pop OS, which is free and open source. I really like it. Now we're gonna wait a little bit until the project is created. And once it's done, you will get this interface. And don't worry. This is a beginner course, I'm gonna cover everything here. Basically we have the game view, which is our actual game. This is how it's gonna appear when you build the game or install it on your computer. Then we have the scene view. Here we'll be able to add objects like the vortex, the ball and so on. We have different tools, like the view tool, I can use the left mouse to move around. The next tool is called move tool. We use it to move objects in our scene. We can rotate it, scale it and so on. We're going to cover these later on when we start adding new objects to our game. Anyways, I want to change the interface a little bit because we have a portrait mode game. I'm gonna change the layout from here. So this is the default interface. I'm gonna change it to tall. And let's move this a bit to the left side. Now we have a portrait mode game. Finally, don't forget to hit save using file, save and file save project so that you don't lose these settings. I think that's pretty much it guys for this video. I hope you like it. If you have any question or comment, make sure to put it under the comment section down below. And I will see you in the next one.